Salam sejahtera and a good day sir. So myself, Daniel Rijal from class 2 BMM, section 1, and my fellow friends, Muhammad Azimin and Kevin Lee Zunjing from class 2 BMM 1, section 1, 2, have been approved to do the soccer branch as of a solid assignment. So what we did was social loading evaluation of soccer branch. Our introduction. introduction. Torsional loading is a test that twists the material or test component of a specified degree with a specified force or until the material fails in torsion. The twisting force of a torsion test is applied. The rotating moment may also be applied to both ends of the sample but the ends must be rotated in our opposite direction. So the objectives are to determine the behavior of material or test sample exhibits when twisted or under torsional forces. Second, to determine the modulus of elasticity in shear yield shear, strength, torsional phatic life, ductility, ultimate shear strength, and modulus of rupture in shear. Third, to check the product's quality and design and ensure that it was manufactured co uh, correctly. Thank you. A very good afternoon to my lecturer. My name is Kevin Yi Sun Jin and I am from class 2B MMM S1 Stroke 1. Today I will be explaining the calculation part. Present presenting the calculation part this is our automatic wrench and this is our 100mm racket socket extension this is our the 21 21mm so socket opener and from here the actual length we will take in the taking the actual length from here to here which is 80 mm and the diameter is 16 mm the length of the automatic wrench from here the center to the hand, hand part the center force as a center is 230 mm now the maximum resultant internal torque is determined so we assume the shaft will broken at T equal to 63 kN per meter. The structure is, the example of structure is like this. The maximum Tokyo force, it, uh, internal Tokyo is at here and it is 63 kN per meter. And the length from here to here is 230 mm. The force exerted at here is unknown so we we will find the force exerted at here which means the force the maximum force exerted at here that will cause the shaft to be broken by using the equation of moment we can determine that the maximum force to be exerted at here it will broken when the force at here is 273.9 kN now we will discuss about the factor of safety fs fs is equal to tau mass over tau actual tau mass is the maximum torque which the shaft will accept and the tau actual is the maximum torque working torque so we have the factor of safety that is 583 which means the Shaft is very safe at this working condition. That's all from me. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Azimin bin Abdul Aziz. My matrix number is B091181140. And I'm from B2 BMM section 1. I'm, my part is discussion and also conclusion. Here I will discuss and tell you more about our discussion. Discussion as a result, the mechanism of the torque work as the moment of a twist structure. Unlike acid load, which produce a uniform or average stress over the cross section of the object, a torque creates a distribution of stress over the cross section. Hence, when a torque is applied to the structure, it will twist along the long axis of the road and in cross section remains circular. Simplify it, we can conclude the more the angle of twist, the larger the shear strain. Since we apply a shear strain, we expect that the torque will apply a shear stress. The relationship between torque and shear stress shown as follow, which is 
J is the renal area as the second polar or moment area of the cross section. This is sometimes referred to the second moment of inertia. Second moment of inertia are known as the area measured to the beam ability to resist bending. The larger the moment of inertia, the less the beam bend, where it can be followed by the, this mathematical equation. Okay, here you can see that I X and I Y, where Y is the distance from the X axis infinitesimal area dA and X is the distance from Y axis to the infinitesimal area dA. It is well established regarding the dynamics motion of the objects. Here are the simple form of circular cross section. We are given it into two, which is hollow and solid. In solid, we have J equals to pi over two and C4. While on the left side is the formula for solid road, while on the other is hollow, and where C is represent the inner radius. After completing list down all the formula needed, the, we use the Hooke law to sh in the shears to seal how they are related. Hooke's law enable to calculate the angle of twist where the formula are S. Here we can distribute S T as the applied torque. L is the beam length, and G is the modulus of rigidity or the shear of modulus or the material, and J is the torsional constant. Hence, from all the information provided, we determine the modulus of rigidity by measuring angle of twist, torque, leg, and diameter. Here, we also needed to calculate the SF, which is the safety factor. Uh, it is when the ratio of the ultimate strength of a member of piece of materials to actual stress to the maximum permissible stress when it used. This can be simplified when it's in the ratio between the force that will be applied to a component in a system and the maximum breaking strength of the component. The formula are as follows. Since the factor of safety is more than 12, this can be categorized as heavy-duty tools. This can be proof that the ratchet socket extension is very safe when the tool is used in the uses of equipment which is automatic ratchet socket that, that we are examining. Thank you. And now for the conclusion. Following the tools that we examine, that we conclude from our calculations, our discussions, the approach of this mini project are based on the learning outcome of the teaching where we are able to apply our knowledge of how to calculate the talk, the torsion, the stress and the maximum yield stress as a follow. We can conclude from this mini project that the relationship between the angle F twist at any point along the roads and the shear strength within the road, by using the Hooke's law, we can relate this strain to the shear within to conclude. The finding of our mini project is regarding the Hooke's law principles. As shown, the maximum force of the shaft tends to break, are able to calculate, and also the way of the working of a band or being called their free body diagrams, shown by the tools how apply the moment and the force towards the tools that are being examined. Thank you.